everyone welcome back to your art and craft classes in today's video we will learn how to draw a peacock for small kids and i have a marker here you can use your pencil only kids okay and we will draw it vertically i have already drawn the borders as you can see here and first we're going to divide our sheet but with a pencil only so that we can erase it later on how we will divide our sheet vertically we will take a half like this much we will take some ground and rest above will be a sky you can take a one third part like if i say yeah not even a one third more than that okay some of the part lesser the ground and double the sky okay now we will draw start drawing it here in the center of the sheet in the center of the sheet we will draw the peacock's face for the peacock face, we need to draw a small, very small circle, okay? And the secondly, you can take some, you know, circular thing. You can take a small bowl or a bigger bowl for this. I'm making it freehand. So, we will draw a small circle here, okay? A small circle here. I hope you can see it. A small circle here cutting the face and we will draw a big circle almost one finger you have to have to leave from all the two sides both the two sides left and right leave at least one one finger cap both the sides should be equally left okay and make a circle you can make a complete circle but i'm making only above this line i will tell you why okay so let's just start it after drawing this measurements we will start it look how i'm making it uh, with a marker so that it would be visible for you okay now we are making a beak and it's my face do not make underline it from here and you should be making it with the pencil only kids and here the body do not make your peacock very much fatty or very much leaner just a normal size your eyes size of the peacock and one two three four five then we will make the circle boundaries how one two three four only on the circle lines okay all right now what we will do look at this one two in one one finger gap you can leave three again one finger gap i'm taking these lines from the center okay center of this two fourth will come from here four one finger gap then it will be come from here again one finger gap then from here then from here then here and last okay now what we will do exactly from the circle lines one two three four five six seven eight nine that's it 
okay this is how we can draw the peacock easily and now i'm making one two one two one two one two one two one two similarly all right time to make some legs Okay, now we will outline this line also, which was, which were dividing a, one more circle you can add here. I'm adding a sun right here, just to complete our scenery. Now I have done the outlining, we will erase our pencil work. Time for coloring kids. Let's do the dark blue color first. Where we can do the dark blue? Tell me. Yes, in the body of the peacock. Second, I'm going to use the orange color here. And I'm making it brighter with color. So I'm going to use the red here. To make the beak a little different from the background, we will use the orange in the beak. Just because it will not get mixed with the this part. Alright. In the center one, we will do orange. In the lower circle, red. In the bigger, last one, sky blue. at last we will use leaf green color very carefully do not mix them with this first we will make the outlining of them
let's just fill it fast you can see i have done it now we will use again the red color here and brown color in the feet and legs let's complete the background as i always do all right make a circle with the yellow color make sure don't mix the blue and yellow color otherwise you will have the green color in your sky so we will cover this one part with the sky blue You can outline first the boundaries like the peacock you can outline first you can outline all the four sides you're going to color then it would be easier for you to fill it dark blue color and we will make some shading only in the corners here vertically and here some horizontally now let's do the land first let's just finish the sun with the orange color And a bit of red. Now 
now let's do the land or the grass again first we can do the outlinings so we can easily fill it in one direction any direction you can choose diagonal straight horizontal Time to use the light green and some dark green color. First we will use the dark green in the feathers. And if possible a little bit shading you can do from outer side. Keep rotating your sheet or you can rotate your body around your sheet. It's up to you. First we will outline the outer part then slowly slowly till the middle you can fill the feathers, wings till half. Look at the difference yourself. It's not done. So look at the difference. Now what we will do the grass a little bit shading of light green randomly anywhere maybe it's not visible to you but it's visible to me and then some of the dark green the bottom area till the middle look at how till the middle you can color it you should be darker from the bottom Our drawing is completed if you have any fluid or whitener you can give some effect like this
it's not necessary it's just optional so thank you everyone for watching the video i hope you liked it and if you liked it please subscribe my channel and like and share the videos bye everyone thank you